So last time you guys did see that we did get a call from AAA, not necessarily because they did mention that there's no room on a roster. So right now, all we're doing is, you know, keeping our hopes up, keeping our batting averages up and just keep on playing these series against these, you know, double A teams. And we did complete the month of April. It was a pretty good one. I completed my goals, you know, three out of the four advancement goals, should I say. And my own personal goals, which is keeping my average over 400. I know that's ridiculous average compared to the reality average, what most players in the MLB get. But I have been keeping my batting average above 400. And yes, we are in the middle of May. We did already get a you know a couple scouts, or should I say, AAA scouts from the Texas you know league. They did actually hit us up, but the only thing is there's no room on the roster, so we're just gonna have to play you know back to back games and hope that you know the me the message notification bar pops up. So here I'm just doing my thing, getting a couple hits. I get a double there surprisingly, and then the next at bat, you know, just by the shortstop, but he was able to scoop it up and get the out so the only run that we scored was me you know running in and that's the only one that we actually needed so we won that one one to nothing and now we are going to be starting the last game against the corpus hooks hoping that we finish on a good note so things get started here on top of the first inning two guys on bases the left fielder dives thinking that he has the ball in his glove but he doesn't catch it so one of my teammates does go ahead and get a run but the other teammate it settles in at the third base. So now that we are in the top of the six, I just wanted to make sure you guys noticed the pink uh, batting um, bat that I'm using. I'm pretty sure it's a cancer and awareness in the game. I actually didn't know it was part of the game. But the bat did help me out a lot. Top of the eighth here. I'm just, you know, hitting my butt off here. Another single right now. And things are just... You know, off to a good start here. And we did finish the game 10-6. to 6. They did get a couple last-minute runs. But we did finish this series off to a good note. Now, when I did get in the main menu, I noticed my coaches were pretty much complaining. Because they noticed that I've been swinging, you know, at everything pretty much. So, I got to complain not only at plate discipline, but also for my base running. And I noticed getting my uh, base running ability up is part of my advancement goals. So, I decided to come here and spend the 200 training points that I have left. Um, I spent 80 on sprint and the rest will be on play discipline. You know, I need to get that up. And here after that, after spending all of our training points, I had another training session. And this time it was like a simulation. It was like an actual game. I have my teammates on bases and I just needed to get one out of the three. Should I say three? success uh at bats and it consisted of you know not only timing the pitch right but also hitting a fair ball and advancing my teammates so as you can see here i only have two chances left and there it goes three out of three is completed and this training pretty much boosted up my contact my visual plate discipline so all that good stuff has been increased so here is my final game of the video and this is a new series against the San Antonio Missions. They have a 22 and 18 record and we have the opposite of that. So here's my first at bat stepping in the bottom of the third because of my poor performance a couple of games ago. I am back to batting number eight. So I was, you know, I did get up to batting number three, but I am back down to eight now. But you got to just take what the coach tells you to do. So first at bat now, I already have two actually one ball one strike so here comes a one and one pitch i guess this one right fastball you know i'm gonna be swinging at this one and it is right off of the shortstop's glove so the pressure's on to open up the inning here comes my next opportunity now bottom of the fifth one out and this one lands right in front of the left fielder but he is able to dive his way and catch it this time and that is just heartbreaking how this guy just threw his body out there i was hoping he gets by him but he just was able to catch it so an unfortunate at bat right there so we're one for two and if you take a look at the scoreboard we are down by nine runs so Whatever I do here is pretty much not going to matter. So we're just going to be playing for stats here. I guess a pitch right. Here comes the 1-0 and o pitch. And this one is right by this left. Should I say the third baseman. And I get another single. 
This is possibly my last at bat comes in the bottom of the eighth. I for sure thought this ball was going to get out of here. The second baseman, my teammate on second base, should I say, was stopping. And he finally advances to third base. And I get a huge at bat right there. And finally, you know, we still have an opportunity here to make a comeback. 6-11. I'm the last guy at bat for my team. And I pop out. So, not a bad game, but I did have an opportunity to cut it to three runs. But these guys come up big here in the first game of the series. And they win this one with the score of 11-6. to So, hope you guys enjoyed this mini episode. I'll be back pretty soon. So, that'll just about wrap things up tonight. For Dave Campbell and Eric Karos, I'm Matt Vaskers.